Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for November, at any time in November, okay? So keep in mind the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, so this reading may or may not be for you, all right? So what do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? I tried to do this a couple days ago, but it wasn't working out, so I decided to do a different one and put it off until it was time. Scissors, disappointment in some affair. So I'm not sure somebody's getting cut out, uh, but there's gonna be some disappointment. A disappointment in some affair. Ooh, on the bottom we have frying pan. Trouble, accusations, so there could be some trouble. You may be being accused of something, I don't know. Or you're accusing somebody, it could go either way. Um, what do we have for Sagittarius? Disappointment in some affair. Now this is November, okay? Let me just straighten that up a little bit. I don't know if that's better or what. Ooh, I'm using my foot. Okay. <laughs> I think we'll go with that. What do we have? What do we have for Sagittarius? Still crooked. It's always crooked. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who's crooked. Uh, the outside looks grand. The inside is a mess. Okay. Let's see if we can. Still trying to fix it. Not gonna work out. Remember, every word that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading. So, what do we have for Sagittarius? Ooh, they will not change ever, ever. You may be dealing with an ass. That's what it looks like to me, huh? A message is coming that you do not want to hear. So a message is coming that you do not want to hear. Sometimes those are the messages that change us, that change our circumstances, right? So what do we have for Sagittarius? I am Sagittarius moon in Vedic. So uh, my son is Sagittarius. My daughter is Sagittarius uh, rising. What do we have for Sagittarius? Seven of Michael. There is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. So I believe this is the Seven of Swords. So somebody needs to take a better course of action. It feels like they're, I don't know if there's somebody that is cheating or they're lying or they're stealing or they're deceiving or they're doing something underhandedly, you know? The Seven of Swords, this is somebody that is plotting and planning and uh, probably gonna be doing something risky, okay? Um, maybe acting without conscience. There could be somebody here that is acting without conscience and they need to, uh, Maybe they need to ask for help. It says working alone may not be the best answer. You know, maybe you need to ask for help. I feel like you're, you, this is in your reading. So this is, there is a better course of action available. Okay, so I feel like you need to come up with another plan. You need to come up with another plan. What do we have for Sagittarius? Oh, we got the moon and the Queen of Wands. So we got the moon and the Queen of Wands. So all is not as it seems. There's some hidden forces here. You need to look deeper. Somebody may be in a place of fear, okay? You need to find your confidence. You need to find your determination to come up with a more positive plan, okay? There's darkness here. Somebody is in a dark mindset, okay? Um, all is not as it seems. There's some sort of illusion. There may even be some addictions here. Um, there's a need to take action. You need to look deeper at a situation. We may have somebody here that is doing something deceptive. They are. They're doing. Somebody is doing something deceptive. There's something that is hidden. There's something that is being hidden. Somebody's lying. Somebody is lying. 
Could be dealing with another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could also be dealing with a Pisces. Maybe even a Cancer because Cancer is ruled by the moon. Um, there's an unclear and difficult path ahead. You're dealing with somebody that is hiding something. I don't know if, and it could be you if you're the cross watcher. This could be the Sagittarius. We got somebody here I feel like has some sort of addictions as well. Um, they lie a lot. There's, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, there's somebody that doesn't, what they look like, you know, we got this one and, and the moon. This is kind of like the moon, you know, it really kind of is. There's something that isn't real. There's something that isn't on the surface. It looks one way, but deep down, it's not. It's not, it's not what it appears to be. We have deception, seven of swords and the moon. There's some sort of deception here. You need to proceed with caution. Again, with that seven of swords, proceed with caution. Emperor reversed. Three of pentacles reversed. You could be dealing with an Aries. It doesn't have to be. You're dealing with somebody that is corrupt. This could be a corrupt leader or somebody that is only looking out for themselves, doesn't care who they hurt. This person may be trying to work with you, but they lack respect for others. This, this is like a father figure or somebody that is in a position of authority. Um, they may not be qualified to be in that position of authority, even though they have that title. Um, this is an abuse of power, I believe. Uh, the basis of the situation is the Four of Cups reverse so this uh, somebody is taking an opportunity they may have ignored it or they didn't want it now they're interested in taking it i feel like this is somebody that is looking out for themselves i feel like they have some sort they want to work with you that, but i feel like they have some sort of ulterior motive this person may be a narcissist they may be a tyrant um they may have deserted you in the past they're definitely disrespectful they're unwilling to compromise they're hard to work with they don't work well with others um, King of Pentacles reversed in the past. I feel like whoever you're dealing with may be suffering financially or they're insecure or they have some sort of need for um, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who needs an ego boost of some sort. Anyhow, above you is the Four of Wands reversed. World card reverse, unsuccessful, unsuccessful outcome, lack of success, um, repeating negative patterns, uh, five of pentacles, king of swords, two of cups, six of swords reverse as your outcome. Let me get another card to go with that. Not going anywhere. Um, trouble, trouble, trouble. That's your accusations. Nine of uh, cups reverse. Be careful what you wish for. Be careful. Maybe you wished for somebody to <laughs> work with you or to give you an opportunity. Whoever this, this person may have not have given it to you in the past because they had some control issues, you know, or they were, uh, I feel like it's power hungry. They were in some sort of power, you know, they wanted some sort of control. They wanted, so they were unwilling to compromise. Um, I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is unstable. They're insecure. They are disorganized. They are a mess. It looks good. The outside looks good. The inside is, the, is a mess. You're dealing with somebody that is abusive. This person is abusive. Um, there's no commitment coming out of this person. You may be wishing and hoping and praying that you're going to be get something out of this person. This person is not really committed. They're very untruthful. They lie a lot. Could be even be a pathological liar. Um, four of wands reversed, uh, sad farewell, trouble in paradise, whoever you're dealing with, maybe I'm not sure if they've had some sort of separation or they're going through a separation, um, or they're scheming. You could definitely, the seven of swords is a schemer and so isn't the moon. The moon is a very scheming, sneaky energy. So I'm wondering if we have somebody here that is scheming, they're looking, they're, they're after, they may be trying to work with you. They have some sort of hidden agenda. Maybe they're suffering financially. And I say that because we have the five of pentacles. There's financial burdens here. I feel like we got somebody that is going to be propositioning you uh, to work with them or to do something because they're suffering and they're looking out for themselves and they're looking out for themselves only. Um, I feel like your advice is to really... 
uh, pay attention, pay attention, look deeper, look deeper at whatever this offer is that, that is coming to you. I feel like uh, there's consequences. I feel like there's consequences for you working with this person. There's somebody here that you cannot trust. I know that there is. I know that there is. Um, I feel like you, maybe you need to get the, get the law involved. I don't know. This is the King of Swords. It looks like it's a woman, but it's absolutely a king. It's the King of Swords. This is a card of discernment as well. I feel like whoever you are dealing with, this is your outside influence though. I think that they have made up their mind. They have come up with a plan. Somebody has come up with a plan. I think that you've been hoping for this person to come towards you. I feel like you have been because the Two of Cups is in your hopes and fears. I think that you've been hoping for this person to make a decision, but you got to be careful what you wish for because the Nine of Cups is reversed in the outcome and the Six of Swords is reversed. This is trouble. That is, and there is trouble in paradise here. This person um, will stop you from your happiness. They will not bring you happiness. There's somebody here that... Um, is unable to give or receive love. This person is very hard. They are very uncaring. They are very distant. But I feel like this person is now interested. I feel like they're, they've they made up their mind. They, maybe they have had an unsuccessful relationship with somebody else. Maybe they've left. Maybe they've left that person. Uh, and they're coming towards you. Maybe that other person has cut them out. But I feel like whoever you're dealing with is a tyrant. They're a narcissist. You know, I feel like this person is... Uh, very, very controlling, uh, corrupt, maybe even does things against the law, illegal, you know, a, a, illegal dealings, emperor reverse next to the three of pentacles reversed. Could even be dealing with a Capricorn. It's somebody, it's a masculine energy. <coughs> I'm sorry, I do have a chest cold. Um, that this is, this is somebody that is power hungry. They're power crazed. They... Um, you can't compromise with this person. They don't compromise. They don't work well with others. They, and they could be even be an angry. Somebody could get really, really angry. I'm not sure if uh, there's something to do with the home, you know, because the Four of Pentacles is that's what's coming. The four, I mean, the Four of Wands reversed. Um, Maybe there's an unstable living situation or an insecure living situation or a temporary living situation. Somebody's been in and there's some sort of angst over this living situation. Um, the future is the world reversed, which is an unsuccess unsuccessful. It's, it's a lack of success. It's, a, it's a flogging a dead horse, not learning from mistakes. What is this, what is this world card reversed? No positive change is coming. No positive change is coming because somebody hasn't learned their lesson. They haven't learned their lesson. Maybe this is a lesson for you. Have you learned your lesson from your past mistakes? I feel like you are going to be propositioned by somebody that you cannot trust. I feel like this is some, but I feel like it's interesting because it feels like you, you want to build a foundation with this person. Your outside influence is a decision is being made. Somebody is, is making a decision. A decision is being made. They, they've done their investigation. They know what they want. The Two of Cups is a partnership. So I feel like we have somebody here that wants to partner up with you. But I'm not sure it's going to bring you wish fulfillment. Maybe it's just delayed wish fulfillment with that Six of Swords next to the Nine of Cups reverse. Let me get another card for that. There's disappointment in some affair, though, and then we get the Seven of Swords. You maybe you could be dealing with somebody that is very that is very slick. What you see is not what you get. They're so slick. On the outside, it looks really good, but the inside is a mess. And there's a lot of deception. There's a lot of lies. There's a lot of illusion. You know what you see is not what you get. There's somebody here that is very sneaky. That is very slippery. That is not really committed. Nine of Swords, regrets, regrets. 
You will have regrets for dealing with there's regrets, there's regrets, lack of wish fulfillment, no success. It feels like we have somebody here that is angry, they are upset. Um, they may have been cut out, you know, they may have uh, been rejected. Maybe they've had to move or they need to move and they're, they're coming towards you. There's some sort of regrets for letting this person in. Tower reversed on the bottom. Now, tower reverse is unavoidable change. You may have avoided this disruption up until now, but you can't avoid it forever. Okay, this is extremes. Could be a big, huge fight. Could be a permanent loss. Could be a painful change. Somebody could be moving. Something could be happening that you never saw coming. <coughs> There's going to be a, a, a major life change. It's unavoidable. I feel like, I feel like uh, you got somebody here that is lying to you. They're lying to you about their intentions. I'm not sure if they need a place to live. Or there's going to be a change in your living situation. There's somebody here that has failed to achieve. They have a failed to achieve success. And they may be coming towards you. They're now they're interested in you because they see that you have something to offer them. This person is struggling. They are definitely struggling. And I feel like you... You need to really consider, okay, you may be in a place where you're feeling abandoned, you're feeling neglected, you're feeling ghosted, and you're just hoping and praying for help to arrive or a partner to arrive. And I feel like you need to be careful what you wish for because I feel like whoever you're dealing with is very false. They, 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 they really don't tell the truth. This is a pathological liar. There's regrets. I mean, this, the, the outcome... Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups reverse, and the Six of Swords reverse. This is like, you know, you could. It, this person may be refusing. They may they may get there, and then they refuse to leave, and they cause you stress. They cause you anxiety, you know, and you wish that you never got yourself involved in this nightmare. There's, there's poor health here too. So I, I wonder if we have somebody here that has some poor health and, you know, somebody may even end up at the, in the hospital. They've been reluctant to go. They may end up there. They may end up going to the hospital. There is a lack of success, fogging a dead horse, not learning from the previous mistakes, uh, not able to work with anybody. We have somebody that doesn't work well with, a, with anybody. They have anger issues. And now this could be you. I mean, it could be. This could be your, I mean, the emperor could be a Sagittarius. Could be anybody. Could be anybody. There is somebody here that is, does not work well with others. They're resisting change with that, with that world card reversed. There's an unhappy living situation. It's not healthy. It's an unhealthy living situation. There's a lot of financial struggle. There's power struggles. There's abandonment. There's neglect. There's a decision that is being made. There is a decision, somebody, and it could be an outside source that is making a decision. Somebody is making a decision, and it feels like it's a, it's a good decision. It does, because King of Swords usually makes a logical decision, you know. Fool, fool, start over, start over from scratch, uh, step into new territory, leave everything behind. So somebody is making a decision to leave everything behind. They're going to be starting over. They're ready to take a risk. So, you know, for some of you, there could be somebody that is coming into your life that is doing something on a whim. They're ready to take a risk. They want to partner up for, with you. Uh, but there's some sort of reluctant to take a new approach. Unhappy. Justice. I was clarifying that outcome again. So we got somebody here that is, is making a decision based on the truth, based on the facts. It could be even the, somebody in the law could be making a decision. I wonder if there is somebody that is doing something spontaneous 
and maybe i don't know if they, you know we have that moon we have the seven of swords they could be doing something that is illegal because i do see i feel like there's illegal dealings here somebody could end up getting caught there could be a judge that gets involved or a person that is in a position of authority it's, it feels like we start we start out with somebody getting angry they're getting angry and acting on their anger you know, um, there's disrespect, there's a lack of togetherness, there's a lack of teamwork. So taking, taking, it's almost like taking justice into their own hands. And I feel like there's regrets for doing so because the law steps in. I also feel like we have somebody here that is very unstable. They're unstable, they're insecure. Um, a lot of insecurities here. Fool, starting over, leaving everything behind, stepping into new territory, taking a risk. Uh, nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is wounded. Um, perseverance, setting boundaries. Uh, you know, some of you may, or not you, or you may be dealing with somebody that could even end up behind bars or behind locked doors, because that's what I just saw when I looked at that. On the bottom of the card, I mean, the bottom of the deck is judgment reverse, poor judgment call. I feel like we have somebody here that's making a poor judgment call. Um, and they definitely could be found guilty for something. There's law, there's legal issues here. There definitely is the law. The law is either involved or maybe even be karma, okay? Because we have justice and judgment, which both represent karma. Now, there's two sides to karma. There's good and there's bad. Okay, so this, the justice upright, would be everything turning out as it should. A fair and just decision is being made based on the facts. Judgment is moving on from a poor choice, being judged, being held accountable for the decisions that you make. So somebody is being held accountable for the decisions that they make. There's been some sort of poor judgment call. Somebody's making a poor judgment call, and they are going to be held accountable for making that poor judgment call this month. Moving on, moving on from a bad choice. Somebody is moving on. They're going to be moving on from a bad choice. They are going to be partnering up with somebody new. And balance is coming. Balance is going to be restored. But it, there's trouble ahead with that Six of Swords reversed. Okay, that's trouble. That's, that's refusing to take a new approach. Maybe, maybe there's force. That Tower card is forced. Okay, it's forced to take a new approach. Unavoidable change. Something could be happening that is forcing somebody to get help i mean this is like help is definitely needed so somebody is is forcing somebody in a new direction with that with that uh fool card could be the law good luck